also there's some questions. I asked this question. Does it work? Is Agile better? And they're like, I don't know. Like, what do you mean you don't know? Like, ah, oh, I don't know. It's just something that, you know, Agile was something the tech guys did to the business. Oh, by the way, you need to be a product owner, and you need to be involved every day, and you need to assign these stories and break them into chunks, and you need to do validation. Like, they have no idea whether it works or not. So pay attention to that, and let's say, well, let's find out if it works. If you go and tell them that we won't build a 45%, and you'll build a 7% first, I think they'll figure out that it works. Right, it makes it a little easier. So we need to shift. Now, why did we do requirements all up front and then fix cost, schedule, and scope and then run all our governance on that? Do you guys still do that? Why do we do that? Did we teach the business that? Was it IT that came up with that? I kind of think it is because, you know, I look at companies and I look at how often they plan, replan, reprioritize, how focused they are on value, how focused they are on the cost of achieving that value, and they completely stop doing all those things when they come to software. And so the question is, why do we do that? Well, we taught them that. I think we taught them that. We said, hey, here's the way you build software. Yeah, I, I'm not certain that's true. I, I wonder whether you, often you're asked the question, how much will this, this cost? The business then go away and say, yeah, I've got this idea and it'll cost X million, and uh, and I've got a commitment from IT to do it. So I wonder if the business taught us to work that way. Mm -hmm. Could be. I, 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 I wouldn't get caught. So I'm not going to get hung up on it, but it, yeah. Yeah, because uh -huh. it's better the other way. But I think it's one of these, I think it's like, I suspect it's one of the examples that um, the theory of constraints guys point out, that because it took us a month to, shift it, to deliver anything 20 years ago, because we just couldn't do it any faster than that. Um, in the craft and they, there was no point rescheduling more than once a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have an annual rescheduling and budgeting process, which they get put into their... We have shifted out of that factory <coughs> model of and we can't, and they, software. They've still got the processes that they developed 20 years ago yeah. to manage IT, and we haven't educated them back out of it yet. That's probably true. That's probably true. And I think it's also compounded by the fact that it is the budgeting cycle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, oh, the, accounting draws such yeah. bad behavior yeah. of business priority. So you know. So really, we're not really driven by business value. We know what it is. We prioritize it initially. But you know, how many times did the first project get kicked off? All the resources got sucked up for it. Second highest project, no resources for it. The seventh project has resources, so we, mm -hmm. we kick that off. So we're really driven by resource utilization. Mm -hmm. So we need to shift out of that mode. I'm going to show you uh, business planning. The, the next session, a practice of business planning. Well, I don't need to know the cost to know what the, the sequence of value is first. You need to break out of that mode, which is, what's the priority? Well, tell me how much it costs. No. <laughs> that, you know, I'm not going to invest my time <coughs> on telling you how much it costs unless you tell me it's the highest thing to work on. So we need to shift out of this. Incremental value, only work on invest on that. I don't want a team doing any kind of work on a chunk unless I know it's really valuable and I'm going to deliver it. Alan, I think the, um, the real thing is this goes back to the days when IT always reported to the chief financial officer. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. And of we know that works so well. It, well, <laughs> indeed. But in many organizations, I'd probably say 80%, that's still the case. And IT or software development is seen as a cost center. Yeah, that's right. And mm -hmm. actually, that's what we've got to change. We've got to change from being a cost center to being a profit yeah. generator. So, so I found that the best way to do that is to educate the business and then go work on management. Yeah. The business says, I'm not paying for that. Or this is how I'm willing to fund it. Then management has to change their practices. So one last thing I'll say is, you know, this change is not easy. I spend a lot of time doing these three steps. Stop doing things the old way. We have to do it this way. No, stop doing that. That's the old way. And they don't know what the new way is yet. So you gotta get comfortable with it if we don't know what the new way is. And then I work into this new way, which is still quite comfortable, but you're evolving, you're discovering, and saying, but these are important. Okay, so then let's start establishing better approaches. So you have to go through these stages. You do it at the business level, do it at the management level, do it at the IT level, do it at the team level. Stop doing things the old way so that we can get into this neutral zone, and then we can start doing things the new way. But it's, you, you can't start a new way unless you stop the old way. I think that's it. Um, I, I do spend time saying, you know, you do have to be involved. If you want us to work on your higher priority things, then you'll want to be involved because you'll want to get them faster. But so get us the right people because it is a shift in the business. Get the right. 
people on your highest priority. You don't give it somebody who, who can't get it. Okay.